man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. <laughs>
and this is a Southern Detectorists Facebook group. Some people are already sharing this live stream to other Facebook groups. Thank you very much for doing that. Really appreciate it. That just shows me that um, these type of videos are welcomed. You don't see them very often. Now, you are live on YouTube. Do you have a problem with that? Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine with that. Lovely job. Have you had anything at all yet? Or is that uh, your... It's the very first thing. Is it, right? Feature button. Is that a button? Oh, uh, yeah. That's the button. What do you want? It's, it's got a scar on the back. It hasn't got... Um, Oh yeah, it has, yeah. yeah. Good, well, good luck for the day. It's really nice to be able to share with everybody else, you know, what a live group dig is like. It's such a unique event to see something going on as it happens. So uh, Libby now is on this uh, stubble field. She's now walking in front of Steve, her father, looking for stuff by eye. I tell you what, it won't take her long. If it's there, she'll find it. 127 people marched off with the coils in the air, eager to find their first signal. There's loads and loads of land. There's that one over there. There's that big one over there. I'm sorry we're facing the sun right now, so it's not brilliant. And there's a field there as well. But not only that, I mean, it's a quarter of a mile walk. Actually, more than that, it's half a mile walk from here to those trees over there. And there's some people over there already. But there's loads of fields at the top there as well. So several hundred acres to go out today. You wouldn't believe there's 127 people because they've all just gone all over the place and now you're just left with a handful. Well, first three things. First three things? Yeah, I had Roman in the first field, Roman grot. That's hardly a grot. Well, it's not bad. No, that's but beautiful. I've just dug in the gate, superb neat ropes, absolutely lovely decorated thing. Now that is nice. It is, and I've just led off the surface of the tent. Wow! Literally, just here. I don't, I don't normally, but I thought I've got something to show, and you need that on the video. So absolutely, and thank you for doing that. I'm going to find some more now, Stephen. Lovely job, thank you. See you later. Yep, see you. Have a good day. I'm going to thank you all very much indeed for joining me for my first ever live group dig. Woohoo! It's hammy time. Big smiles. Oh. Oh, that is a big one. Is that a grope? Yeah. Um, yeah. Your mate thinks it's Eddie. Looks like an Eddie. Can you just have a, have a look? Yeah, sure. Definitely an Edward. I just can't, I'm not very good at IDing which monarch. It's first, second or third or not, I don't know. But it's a nice coin. Been clipped a little bit, hasn't it? But yeah. That's a beaut. That's a it's big not, one. It's not very worn, is it? No, that's a big one. Well done on that. Happy days. Yeah, fantastic. You can go on now. Now hey guys, just want to share this information with you. I didn't expect to go live twice in one day, but we've got a massive commotion here. There's been a, a huge, I no. mean a huge horde of silver Roman denarius. We believe still in the vessel. So we're closing down the site and we're securing it, especially overnight, but we are miles from anywhere. So nobody's going to find out where we are. And we've got to get these professionally excavated. So I'd love to be able to show you more about what's going on, but I've been asked not to, just to announce to you that I am recording it. I'm recording it. I'm going to show you on a video what's happening here, but I can't show you live. I wish I could. I really do. Loads of um, Republican, Mark Antony, Augustus, pre-Augustus, silver Roman denarii, hundreds, possibly even thousands of them have been found by one person. And now we're just shutting down the field and we're going to dig them up. I'm going to record this live. I'm going to get the drone up as well to record the footage. Sorry I can't show you it in person, but I'm going to bring it to you on a video that I'm filming now. So thanks a lot and I'll catch you later. Sorry that I can't show you live. Catch you later. Right, it's my great pleasure to bring you some news. And the dig I streamed on live this morning, there's been a really great occasion here today and being witness and given permission to do this live i'm not even sure if it's been done live on youtube before but live is our silver roman denarii hoard please tell everyone to check in i'll keep this video going as long as i can and i just want to show you what's going on at the moment kirsty in the uh, jacket has uh, recently arrived she's the local finds liaison officer and she's just coming to oversee 
what's going on and to give us some guidance. So far we've uh, got all that soil out, that's probably about a cubic square metre of soil there, or a bit less. I'll try and show you some coins at the moment, um, but which we've found. And they go back to 80 BC to about 40 or 60 AD. I will bring you some coins to look at in just a moment. Oh, here we go. He's back again. So the next 50 coins in there so far. Give or take. Give or take. Yeah, you're just chucking them in all the time, aren't you? But there we go. Some beautiful silver Roman denarius. Now, those who remember the coins I found in a hoard, these are in excellent, excellent condition. Hundreds of them. Come on, you've got to be honest. What century are they? Ben? First century, most of them. And they go back to 80 BC. It's about 80 BC at the moment, yeah. So around 60 AD is going to take. Okay, we are live on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Everybody knows Gary Smith. He's usually very, very camera shy. He seems to have given in today. <laughs> yeah. So this is a live excavation of the Denarius Horde. And, uh, sorry, there's no such thing as a Denarius Horde, it's a Denarii Horde. It's still a move, even there. Even the coins are coming out of the side walls. There's been some probes searching for the coins in the side walls. So uh, we may have to open this trench a little bit bigger than it actually is. But in the moment, we're just uh, tidying it up, taking the loose soil off the top. There seems to be three big pockets of coins, really, where the probe is now. And they're all over the place. So that's been worth a six hour trip to come down and witness that. I mean, to witness that live happening in a field as it happens is absolutely brilliant. Needless to say, I haven't got much digging in myself today because I've been flying the drone. Uh, I've, I've been here really since the first ones were found and we couldn't go live and reveal and tell you anything at all. But I've now got the go ahead. So if you're just tuning in now, I can confirm this is a live reveal of a Denari cord. And um, we've, amazingly, we've only got nine watches and one thumbs up. I can't believe that. I don't think this has ever happened before live on YouTube. So if you uh, get the opportunity, by all means, please share this live stream now in other groups for people who have never ever seen this happen before. This is a unique opportunity to witness a live horde of silver Romans coming up. I know I'm excited and I'm standing here. So let me just switch the camera around again. There's a lot of activity here at the moment and the flows are here. There's Kirsty over there who's a fine liaison officer. But after this morning's video showing you the protocol and how a weekend dig is organized and 127 detectorists walking into the field with their coils head high ready to go, who knew that this was going to be happening live, and I repeat this, live on YouTube. Totally and utterly gobsmacked and such a pleasure to be here. This gentleman with the blue and white hat with the sunglasses, he's one of the finders. I believe there are three joint finders. Um, now the rumours are that there is a pot there, which has been hit by a plough or something. Um, the flows are going by the colour of the soil as it changes colour. There's orange um, in one part and it's um, black in another part, but they're still really yet haven't reached the subsoil. So. I have no idea how deep that's going to be or if there is a pot there at all. But if there is a pot, I want to bring it out live. I'm going to sacrifice my six hours drive down here to hopefully detect and find something myself to bring you this because this is just absolutely incredible to watch. For those just joining, and there are a few more of you now joining, I have to just reiterate there's been 50 silver Roman coins so far, but we know there are um, four or more big areas, pockets of coins underneath that soil. The hole at the moment, it's about nine inches deep. 
and they're just making an announcement over here, which I want to get. They're not going to be able to hear you, While they're calling the people over, I'll just let you know that this morning as well, I managed to get the drone in the air and record what was going on, hovering over the hole, looking in the hole. But this is probably, to the best of my knowledge anyway, the first live reveal of a silver Roman hoard of coins, significant number of coins. We don't know how many yet. But I'm going to try and stay with you as long as I possibly can until we know a lot more. It's only caught to one in the afternoon. I think the first few coins were found about a couple of hours ago. And uh, I'm just very surprised that we're live again. That Alex, my mate here, didn't find anything, <laughs> as he usually does. We know that I don't, but it's just nice to be here to record it, let alone find anything and be part of it. So if you're watching this now, by all means, please share this moment on other Facebook groups so they can also see what happens when a live horde comes up. Come on! Being the boss to me. I'll always be the boss to you, mate. Are we going to get a discount for lots of picking time? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure what. Sean is going to announce, but something that's probably been told him by one of the flows. We're live on YouTube. Okay, listen up, everybody. Anyone who found a Roman denarii, silver Roman denarii, which is, which is associated with that horde, okay, is part of the horde. Okay, now you can still be listening, you are still the owner of that denarii, okay, but it has to be handed in and it has to go through the process. Okay, and then what um, Kirsty will do, she will take your name, your address, and the denarii, and then it's got to go through the process. Okay, so anyone who owns, uh, anyone who's got any of these spots where we've marked, if they go to Kirsty individually and give the denarii or denarii's and your name. Okay. Thanks guys. And this field is going to be closed at four o'clock. All the others are open, but this field will be shut at four o'clock. If any more is found, please do the same process. Thank you. Anything now found in this field is now going to be as part of the horde. Right, the excitement continues. Everybody's trying to find more silvers. So far, just to bring uh, you all up to date, if you've checked in recently, there's been a horde of silver Roman denarius found and they're still trying to excavate them. The finds liaison officer and her husband, who's an architect, uh, architect, <laughs> an archeologist, are here now, just preparing the soil ready for a proper excavation. We can tell we're not really yet past the, um, the soil level, not into subsoil. So we're just preparing it for a final search. How long can you stay live for, Steve? Um, <laughs> well, I'm plugged in at the moment to a power pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This could be a few hours. Yeah, I know. You, light, you need a tool. Uh, yeah. A I may have to come back for part two. Yeah, I think so, <laughs> so, what's the opinion of, of them about what lies beneath? Very early to tell yet, mate. It's, um, there is a bit of darker, darker soil. Could be burning, could be hit, you know, buried. There's also a little bit of um, a lot of 
Right, okay. But we think there's a, enough there to warrant uh, a proper excavation because evidence shows there are a lot more there still. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, we dug down and then once we started getting a bit more of a congregation, the coins sticking out, with, you can probably can't really see them in here. There's probably about eight or ten sticking out on their sides. Yeah. Of course, they're the closest ones to go we've had so far yeah. because we stopped just in case it is a pot or something's been smashed or is a little bit of a pit and then we'll go around it and see if we see what it is great thank you gary that's gary one who's usually very camera shy very vocal today <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic experience to be able to witness live an, an event like this it really is superb live on youtube if nobody is uh, watching that's their tough luck there could be lots of people who will want to see this if you know anybody just tag them just let them know what's going on or share this into other groups i'm going to keep going live as long as i can even if there's nothing really to show you because all of a sudden something will happen i just hope my battery doesn't run out at that particular point But it's exciting. The pot was sunk and the copper coins were put in in situ. So it's not it's not like a um, coming back to the meter sort of thing. So it's going to stay there. <laughs> Whereas this, we we don't really understand what the process of weaving is about. But there is now a, a coin coins coin going on in, in combination with vocal fatigue skin, and we're hoping we start to get some, some ideas and answers for that. that <laughs> and they're often like this in that they're. You no, know, there's not necessarily any building associated. It could be just in our summer field. The shack that called was the exception in Somerset. That was in the corner of London, but that's the only one I've seen. <laughs> so that, that's this is it'd be more usual for it to not have any building associated with it. But I'm just going to check that out and excavate it properly, and then we'll know for certain. Well, it looks like we're now undergoing the first process, so there's not a great deal to show you. That's what happens now. There's a lot of excitement when the hoard is first revealed and um, they're just gently digging around to see just how big the area is they need to cover to find any coins. That happened over a two hour period. We then decided we would stop the digging and um, call out the finds liaison officer. So she's come along, Kirsty, who you've just seen on video, brought her husband who's in the hole at the moment, who's an archeologist. And we're now really oh, just waiting to see what happens next. And it's not Whoa. part of the hoard. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Is that one up? Yeah. Well, they get to keep theirs. I can't even yeah. see it. Yeah. Half in it. Half yeah. of the farm. Yeah. Hell of a grunty. Who, who, see, who said Saxon anyway? I did. You did? Not well, me. I didn't say no, it. No, I did. Am I right? You did. Is it? Yeah, right. It's a short cost penny. <laughs> <laughs> It's still good. It dates 1180, 1247. Well, it's not normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's still nice though. Yeah. It seemed insignificant now, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Steve? Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah, still live. <laughs> Little find in the field. John yeah. here. Here we are. Got a stator. Bit chip, bit broken. Bronze. A bronze stator. Iron Age. Well, oh. there you go. You guys who are not in the UK or Europe who uh, salivate about our history, that's what we're looking for. You've seen some unique history today live on YouTube. <laughs> and tell everybody you saw it on the channel, the man with the hat. <laughs> Southern Detectorists. At Southern Detectorists. If you want to, just um, are you actually still putting pictures live still on your group? Yeah, there's going to, everything. Everything about today is going to go up on our group at Southern Detectorists. It's a fa Facebook group. It's an open group. So if you want to come into the group, we put regular digs on all around the south coast. Um, so yeah, if you want to join us, go onto Facebook, type in Southern Detectorists, come and join us. It's uh, we have we, we're we're all over the, the southern regions of England. Very early stuff, but that's that's common immediately post conquest because they were kind of raiding the coppers in Rome and paying yeah. the army with the, that silver. So you get 
it's very warm silver coming back into circulation. So that's that's quite interesting. Well, he's adding any topsoil waste oh, right, he gets okay. from the, to the same bag. So oh, once, yeah, right. once he's got once he's got down to the bottom of that, so he'll be adding ones to it. So it'll go up. Not <laughs> you want as many as you can there, don't you? Do you want that one in the in the box then? So that's the ones that these guys have retrieved from the yeah. Walker Lake. That's all I'm worried about. So if you, are, you, are you finding others? Yeah, I got there one was a loose one. Okay, just have a quick look at that one before. You've got to take a picture of that, yeah? No, I'm uh, live as well. You're live as well. Excellent stuff. So that's a Denarius serratus. So it's got a, a serrated edge. Uh, do you know, I've never found one of them. I've found a horde, but I've never yeah. had one of these. I've had Mike's found 50. Few. Well, just saying. Denarius. Just saying. <laughs> but serratus. Same ones, right? Really? It's got a cow on it, isn't it? I can't believe it. Wow. It's a bull. Raging bull. Oh, it's not raging, though, is it? <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you. Okay. Something unique which needs to be shared with anybody who loves this hobby. Who probably would never have a chance to see this in them themselves, especially if they're not in the UK and haven't got the history. This is not a rare event, as I've said, but it's very rare. If at all, you'll see it happen live on YouTube. You might find other hold excavations that have been recorded, but not, I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, live as it happens. At the moment, it's not a great deal to look at, except the 50 coins which have already come out, which have been taken away by the Fines Liaison Officer for recording and people's names who have found some of the stray ones. You can see here from the from the yellow markers, there's where some stray ones have been found. So that's indicative of the fact that the, there probably was a vessel here of some description and uh, the vessel has been hit by a plough at some point and a few of the tons at the top have been scattered. And while people are now really searching, this is one of the benefits. One of the benefits of um, something like this coming up and people now searching the periphery for stray coins, they're searching really, really carefully. They're not hardly walking at all. They're just searching, not swinging, searching. And people are finding other things. Uh, half, uh, cut half hammers come up and a, a beautiful big hammer came up a little while ago around this proximity. And of course, they're not related at all to this particular hoard. Any Roman silvers now which are found on this field are part of the hoard and have to be declared as such. Those on the periphery who are not in the main hole, of course, will have to be decided by the British Museum as to where, whether or not they are significantly related to the main hoard. And if they are, then obviously they've just been separated by the plough and they will be retained as part of the hoard. That's the way the process works. That was a good find. I saw you get the signal and I saw you dig it up. Live from the field, many more people are joining us. Thank you very much for doing that. Please share this YouTube video into your Facebook groups, especially overseas for people who never get a chance to witness things like this. Thanks to everybody for joining us on a special live stream video to YouTube from Bridport in Dorset in the UK. Thanks for the thumbs up and the shares to other metal detecting Facebook groups so they can see as well, especially our friends overseas who don't have the history like this. Right guys, it looks like we're, the, the next stage is quite slow, actually revealing the, the significant number of coins which we still know are in the ground under just under the surface. So what I'm going to do to make sure I don't lose any video at the most critical time, I'm going to leave you now, but come back. I'm going to make sure all my equipment is charged up and come back and continue showing you the excavation of this live. It's only now half past one. I think it's 1.31. So you know this is actually live stream from the field and I'm going to come back to you. So 
if you make sure you click subscribe and when I start streaming it will notify you that I'm streaming so click subscribe so you get notified when I come back I won't promise you I won't be long I just want to charge up all my equipment and then come back to you so we don't miss anything important at the wrong time meanwhile I haven't even swung my coil yet but it's been worth it It may have to remain here for quite some time until we can get it all out, but it's apparently a big one. Was that you shouting then? No, I didn't shout. I just don't know. I heard someone shouting. I thought something was going on. I was here. I think I had at least half a dozen eight. Mine is just, it's, it's this basically, it's the top of this knocked off through, through this, through basically. Yeah, yeah, Mike, is there a vessel in there? Mike, you want a dick? Is there a vessel still in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So no, we're just uncovering it. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to leave them there. We might have gold in it. No, no, you want to do that with wood? Hey, you want to be doing that with wood? So you don't crack the pot? You do, you want to be doing that with wood, not with a metal one. Just come back close to the pot. It definitely is. No, it's your ink one, I know, is it? Well, it depends if you can get a fucking yeah, flow in yeah, yeah, on Monday, yeah. apparently. Well, yeah. we'll see. Make sure you get all that, like... Yeah, well, yeah, I'm putting them all on this sheet, so right, we can do it. Right, watch that, mate. That's, um... Yeah, that's yeah. a fucking... Are these, um... Oh, you fucker. That is, uh... Oh, sorry. That's, um... Mark Anthony, 32 BC. Yeah, it is. Perfect. It should have a Legion, Legion on there Denaris. as well. Right. They're perfect. That seems good. You're, you're, you're talking then. You're talking then. There you go. Take a bigger square when you check out Lucy. Dig down in that bed. Put that pot in the fucking level. Look at that. And then be careful because there's been loads found here. Yeah, lovely, aren't they? I would detect if I were you. Well done, mate. They've been found within about 50 yards. Carry on. Where's it coming up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. They put that right through to that hole. Oh, Who found it? Mike. <laughs> there in the blue. Wow. Oh, you <laughs> Which one's Mike? This one's Mike. Well, does that mean I can't yeah. brag about me one bit now? No, that's Mike. Ross. Hang on. No, this is where it's starting. Right. <coughs> Someone has nicked me shovel. I think you need to um, go get a <coughs> deeper level. Excuse me. Yeah. Square around it. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anyone got my uh, pin? Is that mine? No, it's mine. That's mine, that one. Is that mine? No. Uh, yeah. Do you want to borrow me? Together, Mike, yeah. what was that signal like? Yeah, it was all right, mate. Yeah. Quite all right. <laughs> I'm <laughs> in many <laughs> words. <laughs> Rather loud and clear. What's <laughs> <laughs> the first time it's mine? Right, so yeah. No. We're no, just there. Well, all the way around there. Yeah. 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 I, I kind of want to slow it down a bit. I mean, there's like six people in there. I would really prefer it if it was just the finders. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just I know, I know, but just you two in it. Yeah, it's not nice having Zach here because he's. I know it is, but it doesn't that. need yeah. seven people throwing spades at it. And keep that don't level there. Is. Don't go any lower than that. There's a hoard. Go that around there. That's right. I'll take the top one. Fantastic. Yeah, square. Yeah, let's get a bit of order here, isn't it? Yeah. People are just and they're all open up at it, and you don't know what's under there. Got my pinball. The carrot in it. Yeah. Yeah, we think so. Yeah. Exactly. Are you sure that's not wood? No, it's definitely mine, mate. You picked one up. Ben, have you got yours? No, I have got mine. I have yours. I've got mine. 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 I really, really need yeah, to speak to. Um, no, there's going to be a W. Oh, Ben, he can find it the yeah. more way around. We kind of need it. Yeah. We're going big. We're going big. Yeah, yeah. we're going big all round the outside. Come around here, right to here. Yeah, right to here. Take a nice, nice four inches off the top.
isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're well concentrated down here, but... Um, but I think small, yeah. if you can take them off in reasonable respects, and then... I can't give it a brush, I'll knock them out. You can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's call that a... Call that a move. Look, let's tag... Okay. <laughs> What's that one? That's bronze, isn't it? No, it's just a stain on it. I never do that. I leave that to Sam. When you send one off in a pot, they start on a bit of pond. How many there might be in, they start taking bets Sam always wins. It's floating, isn't it? Oh, look. Is this your first picking out all of these? <laughs> no, no, I've done it. <coughs> Did one for Gary from uh, Piddle Trent Hyde last year. We can clean them if you want. They can't. They can't double us on the toy set. <laughs> well, no, they won't clean Charge us for cleaning them. Yeah. <laughs> well, minus the cleaning, you got a tenner. They, they don't clean, they only clean them for valuation purposes anyway. Yeah. Because they need, with these ones, particularly those very pretty and rare ones, they need to get their identification right. <clears throat> There's another type one. There are some. Just something really small one, I think. Yeah. Well, I think that one of the Talies is a bit on the small side. I wonder if the, the when when the you know they are a bit on the small side. Shout when you need another one. We won't need another one. Another four. <laughs> <laughs> So do we know anything about this um, vessel? Is that just is that the neck or is it the bottom or? It's the it's the base of the pot. Right, I yeah. think that's what um, it looks okay. like, that isn't way. it? That way. Um, hard to tell. So I think, I think, very bottom. I think I think it's base down. Uh, it's, it's been a bit, a bit, a bit, been a bit squished. I think. Ross. Thank you. Done? Yep. Yeah. Neck bag, Ross, got it. What layer are we on now? Four. 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 Told you four, didn't I? <laughs> it's another one of them thingy ones there. Yeah. Yeah. They'll do it much more professionally. Well, I think that's what's going on. Yeah. It'll be, they do it in a. Um, very dilute detergent and it breaks the uh, clay bond and the liquid oh, okay. stuff right. yeah. so you you can can put it all in ultrasonic, can you? Under laboratory yeah. conditions. Yeah. Yeah. They use the silver yeah. and a very, very mild detergent yeah. solution. Yeah, I've yeah, watched some videos here. It's good to see there. it do it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The gussages, we had a little pot like that that was actually yeah, chopper with four sets of yeah. silver. And they, they put those all in, and it just lifted up a bit. It was amazing. It's still water with a little bit of it. Very, very, they, they use kind of measured things. Like it's all very, you know, controlled. Mm. And that, that worked for sheep with those ones. Okay. That was worse than this because I've just. He found a pot, he took it with a metal pot, and it was so heavy. Okay. And he, um, so he, um, Took it back to his house and he'd just taken the mud out of the pot and spotted these big silver coins and then he stopped. Mm. I don't know many people that wouldn't have the rest of the mud out and shaken mm. that out of just a bit. He stopped there and he handed it over as yeah, it was. Had a good luck. And there were a few mirrors. What's that? What the hell that? No, that's just, a bit, of, I think it's just a bit of corrosion stuff to one along. Uh, but he didn't know how many he had because he'd ever done it. You get some, <laughs> you get some, you get some kind of corrosion uh, products. You know, you can't, where, where they're up against the side of the pot sometimes. warn you that it was an estimate because there's a few that are too stuck yeah. together. That one's stuck to the pot, see? I've got a hammer. <laughs> Sorry, 
Number five. Are you into layer five? Um, I think we will be very shortly. Okay. How do you determine which is the layer? Um, just approximate. Roughly under a coin a layer, yeah? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I think, when I think I've taken out a, <laughs> when I think I've taken out a layer's worth. I would have 100 bags, right? And I'd have layer one, one coin. <laughs> <laughs> layer two, one coin. That'd oh. be a pile, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere here. Oh, Have you got all the ones out? Thank you. No. You know, I never thought we were going to get the end of these. Because we're getting in Mike's way at the moment. Getting everywhere. Just let him get in with his sword. Are you going to need another one, or do you think? Um, I might, I might have, I might have one more just for the, for the very bottommost lot. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. There's 60 something left in there. I reckon. Yeah, probably not far. Does anybody count? 60 something, you reckon, left? Some of them have come out in lumps. There's easy a couple hundred here. Could, could be over. Could be, could be under yeah, left yeah. in there. Yeah. Total left of 100 left in there. Still. Maybe. Roughly. Oh, we've got three or four. I reckon. I reckon you might not be far found. Thousand coins. Could be all in. You never know. Yeah. I wouldn't like to. <laughs> wouldn't like to. Well, is, is that? It, is that the biggest hoard tonight? Or no? <laughs> the biggest hoard today. Yeah. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> Well, I've been thinking about it, and I think it's your way around. I think it'll be a deal. Since we started. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> one way to clean him. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Where? Go. I thought Go. it was a gold one for a minute. Yeah, no, they've, they've got silt staining on them down here. Where the. um. Where the brown water coming out of the pot, it, it, it sort of pauses as it soaks through the pottery. Then you get a lot, a lot more sort of silk covering on these ones at the base. Mm. Um, we, yeah, bag number five. Number five. Is it five or six now? Oh. Six. Okay. Don't, don't, don't think it matters now, is it? <laughs> Still with coins on the inside here. Oh, a big clump in it. Oh my god, there's about 20 coins there. <laughs> Lifetime's worth of denarii there. How much would that be worth back then? Uh, difficult to say. Well, for a prostitute, it's eight coins of denarii, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Um, a prostitute is 400. Yeah. Yeah, 400 exactly. denarii? It's all denarii. It's from Red Girl. They said 400 denarii. That's the only reason I know what it was. <laughs> Problem is, you've got. Trying to sort out comparative values. <coughs> You've got you're comparing an inflationary system then yeah. with an inflationary system now. Well, what, so would got, the, what would someone get paid for? A soldier used to get paid. Eight denarii. Know, get so First century leisurely got two denarii a day. Oh, right. This is like a lifetime's work. Of the, yeah, worth of coins. Well, as, well, as well as those two two sliding inflationary systems, you, you've also got labour and commodity values being. Completely different to what they are now. Yeah, you, you think what what you could get an agricultural labour labourer for in the eighteenth century compared to what, what people what people need to get paid now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, relatively really, really speaking, people earn a lot more now than they were they used to. So it's all you know. It's all, they looking? still looking. It's almost impossible to come up with a direct comparison. <laughs> now you're smiling, look. That's the first time I've seen you smile. Right. 
Not many more left, is there? Right, there's the base of the pot. Go on, just let you triple through your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> First last time we'll ever see it, so. Mm. Still more, isn't there? Mm. 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 more. There you go. Oh, there's five, five here. There's a load on the outside, isn't there? There's one. Yeah, one there's one. I found all the gold trees there, isn't it? No, not yet. That's yeah, in, that's in the other part of the leaf. I'll say approximately because it's loaded back together. 88 in that bag. What bag mm. number is that? Oh, there's another one. Look, yeah, there's two there. Two. Oh, come out, you little. Mm. Yeah. If I do an approximate count for each bag, is that going to be alright? Yeah, yeah. I, we can't be there's more than two there. <laughs> yeah, just a rough and idea. They are properly stuck. It's not just the soil. Oh. They're actually because they've been. I think that's there. Corroded, for our knees. <laughs> Let's get in there. What do you reckon? That's the base of your pot, look. So it is slightly it, tipped over this way. It would have never survived lifting it, look. I mean, you think that, that jar's probably going to come up to there originally, maybe? Yeah. Rim up around here somewhere. So you've, you've probably got maybe, maybe a half of it, slightly less than half of it surviving. A lot more uh, in this field, field, then. Yeah. 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 What I might have to do is get a bit of clean up on this and get a, get a photo, oh. quick photo of it. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Oh, is it? Real one. That's the exciting bit, over Once they're all like, can you go away so we can detect a bit more? Yeah, keep it. Find the next one. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying we could take a couple. What was that like? Oh, there, like. Um, could be, could be all been silver. Everyone silver. Uh, everyone silver. I think I'll be doing the rock out there earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's just made a live comment on YouTube saying, why don't you use a pinpoint to show you where they are? Because we can see them. <laughs> That's a good, there's your answer, because I can see them. Yeah. And if you have been watching, we've been using the pinpointer all day. You have, yes, on the first stages. And um, Lynn just said, <laughs> Lynn just made a comment saying, worth the wait. Well done, guys. We got our own little patch. We'll kick everyone out in a minute. We'll just do this little round. <laughs> <laughs> Give Mike a shovel. Dig it out. He done it. Look at you can see your phone one. Hello, James Johnson. No, I didn't discover the hoard. That chap there did. The happy looking one. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, we'll move a bigger smile. Is there a horse dance? Yeah, yeah, no, it will be. <laughs> it's not because it's a bit of sweet. You can tell he, uh, he started about if, if, like three weeks ago. I'm, so, I'm yeah. quite lucky. <laughs> if there was one bit of gold in there, I was going to have to streak naked. So, yeah, we don't see that. So, we hit that gold. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> you have to borrow a detector. Huh? Yes, you borrowed mine from the step. Yeah, right. He's borrowed mine. Yeah, yeah. They've not found it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, the ferret. I hate to say uh, the machine he was using was a uh, CTX Mine Lab. Sorry, guys. 
And the owner of that CTX was using the dais. <laughs> and the owner of the CTX was using the dais. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is it one? Yeah. Of course it is. There's another one there. Yeah. Is that another denarius? Yeah. Well done. That was a bit loud, big on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're a nice one. You know that. Well done. Yeah. I just detected that bit as well. <laughs> no, you're not very good then, are you? Have you got a CTX? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that them all out? Oh, a little bit oh, of pots. There's, 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 yeah. there's a few trapped under the... Underneath. Where the pot's broken up. Yeah. Is it on its side, the it's, I think it's been put in, it's been put in upright, but it's just slumped over, over yeah. the inside yeah. of it. Yeah, it's just trying to turn any side. Look at those still there, look. Mike. Bye. Yeah, still going. <laughs> About a thousand. Yeah, there's only a couple left now. No, no go. Oh, fuck knows, mate. I ain't, I ain't good on this at all. Sorry, language is uh, live. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a few pictures. I'll, I'll send them out. Thank you for your support, uh, raffle tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you used to always lock up. <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, they're not. Okay. They're not. We've, uh... 70. 70. 74. Sure, Pass them to it. Yeah. 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 They average one bag at about 88. No one has 70, though. Yeah, she's counting yeah. 70, is it? It's got to be a good 4 or 5 bag. He estimates there could be up to a thousand when you get the, the scatters up as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be more than, I think it'd be more than 500. There's 81 thumbs up watching uh, this video, 81 people live watching at the moment. If you really like this video of a horde being revealed live on YouTube, please click that thumbs up button. Thank you very much for doing it already. That's really fantastic. This is such a rare event. 91? 99. And there's 70 in there. Well, that's the extent of the trench so far. Um, can you just tell us what the next stage that everybody should expect you to be doing next? trench has signals all over the place isn't it so depending which method you use you could be here for a very long time well we'll see how many there are <laughs> there's a lot of signals up here though isn't there under your feet now yeah. <coughs> you're gonna get them last three or four hours, isn't it? 
98. No, that's a lot more than that, Christy. It's uh, in each bag, it's roughly. A, it's a few hundred. I've got 81, 88, 98. Seven, 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 seven bags, roughly 80 a bag. I bet there's equal number of that. Still in the trench. We should find out in a minute. Yeah, we'll certainly find we'll out. Another little uh, scout in there. I'll be amazed yeah, if you. Yeah, we've got to get all the spoil. Yeah, I, I, when I had my hoard out, we found um, seventeen in the spoil. Well, ben found three in this little patch. Did he? Yeah. Wow. In the spoil, there's, yeah, here, there, there will be more in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for sharing. No, 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 no mate. It's uh, thanks for watching. I'm only sharing. Share. Yeah, absolutely. I've got 92 people watching at the moment. Sadly, there are only 34 thumbs up. You'd think they'd all be enjoying it and put a thumbs up, wouldn't you? But um, maybe they'll think about that and just click that button. But, you know, I've come here six hours drive to, to do a dig and I've ended up just filming all day. And that's brilliant. I'll be digging Yep. It's been brilliant. Oh, we're shot up to 41, 30, 43 thumbs up now. That's good. Keep giving thumbs up if you really appreciate what you're watching on screen. It's happening live. You don't see this every day. In fact, I'm not sure it's actually a live stream of a hoard being recovered on YouTube. There may not be one. I don't know. If I'm wrong, just let me know. quieter now than it was a few hours ago when virtually 127 detectorists on this field all crowded one round little one around one little hole and uh, now the excitement has died down the serious work has been going on for a couple of hours or more I know what it feels like because when I found my hoard I was only 10 weeks into the hobby but mine wasn't a uh, a mass like this. Mine was scattered all over the place. It took me six weeks to get 110 coins out. They're doing this virtually every hour, 100 coins an hour. Uh, yeah, it looks, looks to be somewhere uh, around the uh, uh, Would you mind showing this chap some of the coins while I yeah, do the yeah. counting? Can I get one of you? Don't need to take a couple of photos anyway. John on YouTube says everybody involved, well done, awesome find. Someone's just uh, paid it's 35 or 55 dollars just to get a mention on this video with you guys. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give a thumbs up and say thank you to the guy. Yes. Hey, these guys yeah. <laughs> now, Callum, how many's been found up to yet? I can't answer that exactly at the moment, but it's roughly six or seven bags with eighty, roughly in each bag but they're doing the uh, the counting now and looking at some coins over there do you want me to go over and look at those coins as they've got them out should i take you over or do you want to carry on watching them being retrieved oh 53 thumbs up what does that mean go look at some coins well there's a dirty one's being counted yeah but strange because kirsty who is the local yeah. flow finds the aid on officer for those who are abroad and don't know and just look at these beauties if I can just zoom in on the that some of those. Like well, all the fun and the excitement is finally over. They'll just be looking for straggler coins. 
maybe tonight or tomorrow or something like that. This field is officially closed off to detecting now and tomorrow on different fields. But my guess is that the um, the officers of the group will probably allow the original finders and the supervisors to come in and continue their search. Well David, as you well know, I've been walking around all day. I came here six hours from Yorkshire to dig and uh -huh. I haven't put a spade in the ground hardly. <laughs> uh, it's all your fault. I feel it is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I tell you, you've given so much enjoyment to thousands of people now on YouTube, live streaming around the world. Do you know, it's my pleasure. And do you know, it's the first time I've ever, ever streamed anything like that. So thank you very much indeed. Um, how do you feel about it? Oh, ecstatic, I have to say. It's not really sunk in, to be honest. I've been here what, six hours now since we found the first coin. And um, yeah, my heart is still thumping. Now, you told me you were a primary school teacher. Yeah, I'm a head teacher of a primary school. Right. So they're going to be very excited on Monday morning. Yeah. So you're going to look through the video, take some clippings out and show them what happened on the day? Absolutely, yes. And now I guess Roman history is going to be on the agenda. <laughs> it certainly is, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, well I will also want to be one of the first ones to shake your hand and say look, thank you very much. Oh. And thank you for not objecting for me uh, getting the camera out. Pleasure. And bringing so much enjoyment to so many people around the world. And uh, I'd like to thank you for that. Cheers. Okay, cheers very much. Thank you. Where are you? Here we go. Lovely. Has anybody got a Serratus? No, not here. Over there somewhere. What, a Serratus? No, there's one in here. Is there? Yeah, there's a Serratus. that one. <laughs> Lovely job. They are superb coins, just close up. Look at those guys. <laughs> you may never see anything like this on YouTube ever again. That lady there, that's a lady. Now you keep your hands still. Yeah, super. Let's have a look at the handful, see what they look like. Uh, isn't that a beautiful sight? Treasure that on YouTube, you detectorists. You'll never see anything like it again. Bit of iron. There's a really, really well, rare us, collection anyway. of canaries there. Early ones. Very early, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. How are we going, Kirsty? How are we going? Uh, oh. Going up. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Look, everybody wanting pictures of them too. This has been a really fabulous day. It's not over yet. I'm going to keep streaming, so don't go anywhere. But um, everybody's still searching the field. The field's going to be closed off at four o'clock, which is another 14 minutes just for detecting. Uh, no detecting after four o'clock. Spectators can come and have a look because some people will really want to see this if they haven't already, especially the number of coins that have come out if they haven't been over here for a while to look at it. Many people won't even see a site like this. This is so rare to see. The rarity of the coins, we won't really know until the British Museum's had a full look at them. So if I can bring you a follow-up on that, that'll be great. But we know they're unusual, and we know this is a very rare opportunity. And as I've said many times, streaming live to YouTube is even rarer. So I thank you for joining me. 90-odd people watching at the moment, 50-odd thumbs up. Thanks for that. If you do appreciate being involved in this sort of thing, that's great, just press that thumbs up button. It won't kill you, it won't charge you. Just press that thumbs up so you can see just how popular the video is gonna be. Share it as well on the Facebook groups as I've said, so the um, people overseas, especially on a different time zone, haven't checked in yet, can also be witnessing to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right guys, that's three times I've streamed today. I only really meant to stream once, and that's to bring you what it's like to attend uh, a weekend rally with the Southern Detectorists. A little bit of a promotional video for them and a bit of interest for you, something live to enjoy. Uh, but it's turned out to be a lot more than that, a heck of a lot more than that. We estimate now probably about 500 coins, and we'll give you all the details later as we find them out. They'll be nice to look at when they're cleaned up. You'll you'll never appreciate the full beauty of those coins until you've seen them cleaned. Um, magnificent. So I think really is uh, no point in me continuing this live stream anymore. I, this is the second part two video. I hope you've shared it with other Facebook groups so they can also see what's happened here today. It's been a great pleasure to have 
all you lot watching. Great pleasure. Thanks for the thumbs up. Don't stop now. Just keep giving them thumbs up. I'm going to try and bring you more exciting stuff if I possibly can. But of course, 95% of it is luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. But I've always got my camera with me, you know. So thank you, Lynn. I appreciate you watching and sharing and commenting and leaving that thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. So it's for me life in the field today. I'm going to have to love you and leave you. And I thank you very much indeed. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and I'll appreciate that if you do. I've also got a Patreon page as well. You can see the information in the link of this video and I'll catch you later. Have a good one.